Escape to Witch Mountain is a fabulous film. I'd always been aware of this film, but I never watched it, largely because I just didn't know what it was about, so I didn't know if it was my kind of film. But I'm currently watching every Disney film, every Disney feature film, and I'm in the 70s. This was released in 1975, and I have to say, I'm really pleased I finally had a reason to watch it, because it's so much fun. This is directed by John Ho, or John Hoff, written by Robert Malcolm Young, based on the novel by Alexander H. Key. Obviously, I haven't read the novel. If you've read it and know how it compares, please feel free to share that information. This also stars Eddie Albert as a character called Jason. We also have Kim Richards and Ike Eisenman as Tia and Tony. And Denver Pyle also appears. I won't say which character he plays, as it might be a bit of a spoiler, but um, that made me smile quite a bit as well. Tia and Tony are brother and sisters, they are orphans, and they have special powers, telekinesis, telepathy, several other things, and they're very creative with how it's done. I won't spoil it too much, but for example, in order to move objects, Tony plays a harmonica. I will say some of the harmonica sounds are very high-pitched and uncomfortable to listen to, but it always happens at moments of when there's high action and a lot going on. So it makes a lot of sense, but that's just something to bear in mind, that the sound is kind of high-pitched and not always the most pleasant to listen to. But other than that, really thoroughly enjoyed it. They realise that they keep having these memories, particularly Tia, these flashbacks of where they came from, because they don't remember, they don't know their origin, they've got no idea who their original families were, their birth families. And by a chance encounter, they end up living with this man who starts to realise about their powers and who really wants to take advantage of this. He's a very wealthy man. And I kind of wish we spent a little bit more time in that house, particularly the children's bedroom and their playroom, because it was tremendous. It was so well designed, such a fun environment. But the children realise that they need to get out of there and they think they need to go to this place called Witch Mountain. And of course, there we have the title, they're escaping to Witch Mountain. And on their journey, they meet a man called Jason, who drives them in this camper van or motorhome. And the majority of the rest of the film is this chase. They're trying to get to Witch Mountain. Meanwhile, people, including the police and various other authorities, are chasing after them and trying to locate and capture these runaway children. But of course, the children have magical powers or superpowers that they can use to try and fend people off. And I, I found it to be so much fun. I have to say the children are brilliant. The acting is great. Jason is a really likeable character. I feel like it gets a little bit repetitive in the second half of the film, but because the characters are likeable and the special effects with the children's powers are quite good fun, I still found it to be quite engaging. And some of the, spe <laughs> some of the special effects are... Very 70s, put it that way. Very um, rough around the edges, particularly when we have wide shots of landscape and then we see something moving and it's very roughly edited, but a product of its time. But it's kind of cheesy, good fun. But most of it's actually pretty impressive. We also have a cat who's travelling with them, which was a really lovely touch and absolutely adorable. I don't want to say too much more about it because I don't want to spoil any more. I really thoroughly enjoyed this. I had a lot of fun with it. If it's the kind of film that somebody would have as a childhood favourite, I can completely understand that. I feel like I would have loved it. I don't know why I didn't see it, or maybe I did and I didn't like it, but I certainly have no recollection of having seen it. But watching it now, I'm really glad that I could discover it now for the first time as an adult and also as somebody who admires the work that they've seen of Denver Pyle. That was quite nice as well. Although he's not in it too much, but I won't say any more. Really thoroughly enjoyed it. Fantastic premise, brilliant execution. Yes, I wish they'd spent a little bit more time in the millionaire's home because I loved the set designs, but that's more of a personal preference rather than there needing to be a slower pace there. The children are very likeable. The actors are great. It's a film I'd be very happy to watch again. I am aware that there are others. There's The Return to Witch Mountain and um, a couple of other ones. I think there are four other films and I will absolutely be watching them 
in due course when I get to them. Maybe I might watch them sooner rather than later. We'll see. But either way, I will definitely look out for those, look forward to watching those. And if you've never seen the 1975 Escape to Witch Mountain, I thoroughly recommend it. I completely enjoyed it.